can you set up the start of season four for us? Yeah. Well, we set up the story, the big threat of the season in the finale. It's the fact that the world is going to end again. Uh, sort of a apocalyptic, post-apocalyptic show. Um, it's a very different story than we've told in the previous seasons. Like, I like to do that every year. I like to sort of, you know, it's a different movie. Season one was the origin story. Season two was Mount Weather. Season three was the AI. And season four is the Earth Strikes Back. You know, the, we'll see the environment beginning to collapse and, and crazy shit will start happening pretty quickly. Um, you know, they're going to have to work on how to survive, not whether or not uh, they can stop it. They're going to pretty quickly, and this doesn't spoil anything because, you know, I think it's in our DNA at this point. When we say something is going to happen, it usually happens. There's no, like, 11 hour save. So it's about how they're going to survive it, not whether or not they can stop it. Um, Clark's choice to, to, you know, push the kill switch or whatever. Is this, another lever. Yeah, <laughs> another lever. I mean, is there anybody that's going to be upset um, with her knowing the fact that she pulled the switch and, and knowing that, you know, the world yeah. was, might end in six months? Yeah, that's a really good question. I mean, she made a choice for everybody. Like she, she likes to do. She does. <laughs> She tried to get Allie to like, she didn't want to pull that switch when she learned the truth. She tried to say, I think the line was something like, um, give them back their pain, give them back their memories, and I will, uh, I won't pull that switch, and Allie wouldn't do it. So ultimately, yeah, we're going to see a lot of different reactions to that. You know, she, on the one hand, she just defeated this unbeatable enemy and you know yet again so the legend grows you know, the legend of one hater grows um, and we'll see a lot of like interesting reactions to her in the first episode but people when they find out the truth are going to be pissed off some of them for sure it's a good question I don't know you know the, it's funny because the it is definitely like a obviously a deliberate thing at this point the lever in season three was all a construct of her mom right the things were happening that flame was in her head and, and so becca was manifesting things that meant something to her um and the lever obviously means something to her as a as a symbol and that's why we did that um so i don't know there might be one there's certainly I, I can think of like three or four points in the season where a lever might be useful I might make it a button. It might be a button just to differentiate. Will Allie and or the Flame still play a role in season four, or is that story done? Um, let, how do I answer that? Allie, well, in, in an interesting way, first of all, yes, the Flame is still there. It's a really important uh, thing. It's a touchstone. It's an artifact. You know, we real. It's not even close to as important as it was in season four as it was in season three. Um, but whoever holds the flame, even in lieu of a commander, in lieu of a nightblood, has some political power. So if you are the keeper of the flame, people are going to listen to you, follow you. Um, that's a story that we're going to tell. So it, it's important still in that regard, um, but not even close to what it meant last season. Last season it was like everybody wanted the flame. Allie needed the flame. Obviously, Antari needed the flame. Clark was not giving that thing up, you know, at all. It was Lexa in some ways. And so ultimately, um, it's reduced but still there. We won't forget about it. It'll, it'll come back and play important, uh, an important role eventually. Could you talk a little bit about the different mixed reactions and fans and reactions last season? Like how writers might maybe change the thing or not? Yeah, I mean, listen. Don't sit around and try to say, you know, how do we appeal to the, to everybody? We're not trying to do fan service. I'm literally the only person that I'm trying to please, and I hope that when I like something, the fans like it. And sometimes they do, and sometimes they don't. I feel like last season uh, there were definitely some controversial thoughts for sure. I set out in the beginning of the season to to really go dark and really sort of push the envelope in a lot of ways. Um, and you know, obviously people didn't, some people didn't like the Melanie turn, and other people didn't like the Alexa death, and you know, obviously the Lincoln death was controversial too. Um, I think what I, will, what I will say is there were not enough wins in season three. You know, there was probably a relentlessness to the storytelling that 
um, wasn't leavened quite as much as it usually is. A, a part of that is because part of that is because Devin and um, Jasper and Monty's characters, who were usually like kind of comic relief. They both have depressing as hell storylines too. So like we go to comic relief and it's like, oh shit, that's even more dark than the story we just went. Um, so anyway, yeah, I mean we're 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 definitely aware, but I have to trust my instinct as a storyteller. Otherwise I think you get something like, you know, pop music and nothing against pop music. Some pop music is great. But that's the only we're trying to be a little bit more challenging. It's still like a post-apocalyptic the sci-fi action adventure show, so I'm not trying to say it's like Shakespeare by any means, but we're definitely trying to challenge the audience and always put our characters in impossible situations. That's what we try to do. So, thank you.